Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to continue on this little mini-series that I have involving the uh, G1 and some applications and reviews and such. And I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a little quick recommendation on some apps that I have. Most of them are free. There is one that I did pay for, and I'll explain that a little bit later. But this is just um, to give you guys an idea in terms of just some things that I like that I found and downloaded and why I like them and why I think you guys should get them. Okay? So I'm going to go with um, some of the more essential stuff, and then I'll get into some of the more fun stuff that you guys may or may not want. Uh, this will probably be split into two parts, maybe three. I just have, I basically have an entire page full of all these little guys, so I'm just going to try and go from left to right all the way down, okay? So the first one we have is that little squid called Astrid right here, and this is just your basic um, planner type of thing. And this is pretty cool, because it gives you some really detailed list so right here you know we have my little checklist that I have to do go here hit new task and then up pops a couple of different things um, right here is task description you can put down you know the uh, severity of it there's tags so that you can sort these or not sort but look through them later so you can you know, do find tag that involves uh, banking and it'll do all the different tasks that you've ever done involving banking uh, how long will it take basically an estimated time of how long this task will take you to complete. You can put, you know, minutes, hours, days, whatever you want. You can also put notes to kind of just, you know, remind yourself, like, don't go to this bank, go to this bank, or whatever. There's also dates, you know, absolute deadlines, uh, preferred deadlines, recommend, recommended deadlines, goals. You can add this to the calendar, and it easily uploads into your Gmail calendar. You can have repeats. There's also different ways to alert. You can have it alert you every day. You can have it alert you every hour. Uh, it's pretty cool. I use it very frequently, and it, like I said, it's just good if you have a lot of things to do and you want to keep track of what you're doing when you're doing them. Uh, once again, that is called Astrid. just looks like that little squid right there. The next one is called A-Track Dog. Um, this one is the post-cupcake version. I talked about that in some of my other videos. Now what this guy does is he scans your phone and he looks for all the applications that you have. See, this is a list of all the applications that I have installed. And he tells you whether or not you're updated. It's kind of like um, the Microsoft or the update from Windows Update to Microsoft Update for you PC users, where Windows Update um, in updates anything Windows related to so your operating system, basically, whereas Microsoft does anything on your computer as long as it can read them. And this is very similar. So right now you see all these little happy faces right here. That's saying we're good to go. Those are all updated. Um, at the very top, one another recommended app that I'm going to talk about a little bit later. It's got that little refresh icon looking thing that's telling you that um, it's time to update. So when you click on it, it gives you a couple different options. You have install, open, uninstall, don't track anymore. A couple different options, and it works really well. Um, it tells you the different installed versions that you guys have. Sorry, I'm moving back and forth. It's just, you know, whatever's flowing. And then um, any apps like right, you can see right here, it says tells you installed 2.7.3, the new is 2.8.0. Um, I've noticed that it doesn't, it, that doesn't necessarily mean there's a new update available right away. It just means that that's eventually what's coming. Uh, you also hit version tracking down here, and that just kind of automatically scans for whatever you have, and it'll, you know, update whenever. It also works, doubles as a uninstaller and all that stuff, so looks really cool. I like it. Uh, the next one is for all you tweet tweet fans out there. It's called I Tweet. Just this cute little birdie right here. Um, this is the one that I bought, and I bought it for three dollars on the on the Android market because it's a very very. Um, I don't want to show it because it has a lot of personal people on here, and I don't think that they want their faces and stuff shown on. But basically, it's really cool because you can sort through your all your tweets, your replies, the only the messages that you replied to. Uh, it's very customizable. Um, one thing that I do want to show, I'm trying to find something. Okay, here we go. So here's all the tweets that I did. You can see my picture there. And here's a cool thing. If you hold on a message, a little pop-up comes up. And this one's very limited just because um, it's one of my messages. But if somebody else were to leave a message and it says, hey, check out this. Here's what my foot looks like after it was broken. If you hold down on that little tweet, you can... Um, get a couple different options. It'll say reply, you know, direct message this person, reply to sender, go to their profile, um, go to their link. It's a couple different options and it's really cool. Like I said, it's very customizable. 
Um, like I said, that does cost $3 on the Android market. If you're looking for a free Twitter app, Tweedroid is probably the best one out there. I don't have it installed because I have iTweet, obviously. But Tweedroid is probably the best one just because it's uh, very simple to use. Um, doesn't require a whole lot of thought to it. The only thing I didn't like about it was it was lagging at some points very slow. Um, the refresh rate was very awkward. And that's why I elected to go with iTweet, which I do recommend. If you don't mind shelling out three bucks, go for it. Otherwise, if you're if you're a cheapskate and you want to go for the free version, go for Tweedroid. There is nothing wrong with that. Moving on, uh, the next one is called My Account. Uh, before I show anything to you guys, I just want to make sure that none of my personal information is shown on here. This one is very, very cool, and I do like this because it shows you um, basically all your information on your uh, T-Mobile plan. I It only works with T-Mobile accounts, so if you guys have a cracked version of the G1, which I don't know if that really exists, but if you do, this won't work. Like I said, it's T-Mobile only. So it shows you, okay, everything's clean here. It shows you um, your current activity, how much you know minutes you've used and remaining. Shows you your data plan. So I have the unlimited plan, and I have 280 messages used out of that unlimited plan. It also tells you your bill summary when your bill is due, how much you owe. You know, there's help. There's also the phone thing, which tells you your battery power, um, internal memory space, and SD memory space. It's really cool. It's um, especially useful if you have a limited plan. You know, let's say you can only send 300 messages a month. You check this once in a while, like, okay, I can't send any more messages, or I have 10 more messages that last me for the week. So, it's good to know. Um, it looks like I have time for about two more apps. Uh, the next one I'm going to get into is Chomp SMS. It's this little Android-looking guy right here. This one's really cool because um, I talked about this in my cupcake review a little bit earlier. And this one um, basically emulates what I th think is the iPhone um, interface and how text messages are sent and how they're dealt and all that stuff. So um, I don't want to show too many of my messages, so we go to new message here. Okay, so you get your little screen. I know it's going to take a second to adjust, but you got your screen. You start, you know, click up here. If you got the cupcake update, uh, that's another thing. There's a cup post and a pre-cupcake update. Um, so once you click on one of these, there you go, we got our keyboard, we can start typing somebody's name. Um, when we get into the actual, you know, typing thing down here, we can do the same thing. But it's pretty cool because you can customize the way the, win you know, little balloons and stuff will pop up. You can customize the way those look, how they feel. Um, if you don't want to send messages via your carrier, you can also purchase Chomp credit, which is, I don't know, like 10, 15 cents a message it looks like. Um, not really into that because I have the unlimited message plan, so it doesn't affect me anyway. But here's a couple of different uh, settings, as you can see. There's stuff like um, you can disable notification on here, but keep it on your other text messaging thing. You can uh, vice versa. So it's pretty cool. I, I just like it because it, do, it works really well with the Android keyboard. Uh, I think it works a little bit better than the regular text messaging, the built-in one that's on here, and I just think it looks much cool. Okay, running out of time, part two coming up.